Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel, Raina Taboo. I'm Raina, the owner of Tea's Accessory Boutique. And if you're new here and haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you are notified whenever I'm uploading new content. But today is all about the glam. We will be making this glamorous, rotating vanity tray. To see how I did it, stay tuned. Okay, to begin, we are going to take the two six and a half inch round wooden craft circles. I got mine from Michael's. I used a coupon, so they ended up being $1.35 each. We're also going to be taking our six inch Lazy Susan ball bearing mechanism. This is by Everbuilt and I bought it from Home Depot. I will leave links in the description box below. The top of the bearing has two holes in each corner and the bottom only has one hole in each corner. If we were using screws, this would make a difference on what we call the top and bottom, but we're only gluing, so it really doesn't matter which side you use for the top and which side you use for the bottom. And as you can see here, we'll only be sandwiching the ball bearing in between the two wooden circles using our E6000 glue. Once the ball bearings and wooden circle have completely dried, I'm just testing it out to make sure that it still functions properly and no other pieces were accidentally glued together. Mine seems to be in working order so I can move on to the next step. So now we need to attach our ball bearing piece to our 14 inch round mirror that I picked up at Michael's using a coupon. I will be attaching this using the rest of my E6000 glue and I went to my local Dollar Tree and picked up some Fix All Adhesive because I heard it works really well and I'm out of E6000. Also, I will be tacking it down using my hot glue gun so that I can move on to the next steps without having to wait for my other glues to cure properly. Here you can see me just squeezing the remainder of the E6000 that I have left in my tube. It turned out that I had enough to cover this part of the project and I didn't need to use my fix all adhesive on this part. I did however use my fix all adhesive later on in the project which you will see. Once I put the E6000 on the wood, I go behind it and I use hot glue like I said to tack it down a little quicker that way I could move on. Now that you're done gluing, it's time to lay your mirror on the wood. You want to lay it as close to the center as possible, giving it a firm press so that you make sure the Lazy Susan adheres to the back of the mirror. Thank you. 
As you can tell, the Lazy Susan is functioning properly and the mirror is spinning. Now to embellish our tray and make it even more glamorous, I am going to be using these teardrop crystals that I picked up from Hobby Lobby using a coupon as always. My package came with two different sizes, so I will be incorporating both sizes in my design, alternating them big, little, big, little, until I have completed the pattern around the entire mirror. It is important that I lay out my crystals before I start to glue anything down because I want to make sure that I have enough, first of all, to go around the entire mirror. And second of all, that it looks the way that I want it to look. So here is the mirror. I'm spinning it with the crystals on it. They are not yet glued. I will be using my Fix All Adhesive for this part as well as the hot glue gun. Once again, just to make sure that it tacks really quickly and I can move on without damaging or moving any other parts. This project was so fun and so easy to make. As soon as you're done gluing your crystals, that is all. You will have a completed and glamorous vanity tray. And there you have it, your very own glamorous vanity tray. I can't wait to put this tray on my dresser and have it display all of my perfume bottles. I'd love to hear about what you're going to do with your tray. Make sure to leave me a comment down below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you're notified whenever I'm uploading new videos. Be sure you're following me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I will leave links to all of my socials down in the description box below. And as always, thank you!